This Golf Smart Insight is understanding pressure plates versus force plates. So um, pressure plates, force plates, they're different ways of measuring how the feet interact with the ground. Now, golf instructors have long talked about how you want to have your feet working against the ground, how you want your swing to start from the ground up. Um, we've got cool ways to potentially measure it, but you need to understand how each of these systems is measuring either pressure or force so that you don't get too uh, confused by the information that you get back from the analysis. So first let's talk about pressure plates. Um, the most common one would be body track, but uh, pressure plates are, are just taking where my uh, body is pressing into this mat and then averaging it. So let's say I've got kind of a, a scale, right? If I've got my feet along this scale, I could have 100% on the right, I could have 100% on the left. I could have my body over here but be pushing down with that, the trail foot and it would shift this way along the scale, or I could be over here and pushing down with that front foot and have it shift towards the target. So it's not really looking at where my weight is or where my mass is, it's looking at where I'm pressing. So for instance, I could be in a good driver position and have this foot almost off the ground, so it would show that 100% of my pressure is over on the front foot. That could be a little confusing if you saw someone who was in this position and, you said, and they said that they had 100% of their weight in that front foot. So pressure plates is really just taking the average of how I'm pushing down and putting it in this left to right scale. The, the next step up would be looking at force plates. So a force plate would be looking at something like a swing catalyst. So swing catalyst is able to see the direction and the amplitude of where I'm pressing. So they will typically, the swing catalyst is one plate and that's an important thing to understand. Because since it's a, it's a one plate uh, system, it basically takes what both of my feet are doing and then presents the net sum, not what each foot is doing. The next wave will be, in order to really see what each foot is doing, you need two different um, force plates. So in the pressure example, I could be pushing, let's say I'm pushing, I'm, I'm just standing here so my weight is in the center just like this. Well, I'm pushing down, and this doesn't know if I'm pushing down in any different direction, it's just measuring how much I'm pushing down. A force plate, similar to a swing catalyst, would be able to tell me how much or what direction I'm pushing. Now, the problem is, again, because it's one plate, let's say it's looking at the amount of left to right movement. I don't know if, let's say, um, let's say I'm here in my setup and then as I go to, to take away, it says that I am moving or I'm applying a force in that direction which push, propels my body in this direction. I don't know if I'm doing it because I'm pushing with the left foot or if I'm pushing with the right foot. Um, so an, uh, the easy kind of uh, way to see where this complication could come up would be if you're looking at the amount of twisting, right? So the torque graph or the torque um, data will show you how much my body is creating let's say torque um, in the uh, right direction in order to propel myself in the leftward direction, right? So it doesn't necessarily, it, or it doesn't know if it's because I'm twisting my right foot, twisting my left foot, I could be pushing linearly and creating that torque. Um, there are lots of different combinations that could cr pr uh, create the exact same pattern. So what we really need is what the research laboratories have, which is individual platforms underneath each foot. So then I could see with this, this one foot, is it pushing to the left, to the right? What, what, where is the pressure within the foot? What direction am I pushing? What amplitude or what magnitude? Um, it, it would give me a whole lot of information. So you wanna be careful with uh, interpreting too much from these uh, force graphs because um, especially with like a body track or a swing catalyst, uh, the way that they are currently measuring, um, there's a lot that could be misinterpreted or by either the practitioner or by your body. So if I say, get all your pressure into your lead foot, you may think that you have to shift your weight. It could be just pushing harder. Um, if I say that you need to twist against the ground more because you're not twisting enough, 
I'm not telling you, hey, to do it from the right foot, to do it from the left foot, to do it from a force couple. I'm, I'm hoping that you'll be able to match the data in the proper way, and that's not always the case. So if you like the way that we analyze and break down the current trends in golf instruction, you'll love our concept videos and drill videos inside the membership area at golfsmartacademy.com.